after downloading the Citizen app, it's like every five seconds I get a notification. Oh, this woman was robbed at gunpoint. Oh, a report of a man with a knife on this corner. Oh, a man has been shot here. Police are on the scene. Oh, this building is on fire. Literally every single day. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be listing off a few apps that have been really helpful for me here in New York. Don't mind the hat, I am having a bad hair day and I haven't had a haircut yet so yeah. Alright jumping right into it, number one on our list, this is not in order of most helpful to least helpful, it's literally just a random order, but number one on our list is an app called Noon Light. So, if you have an iPhone, I'm pretty sure every iPhone has like the Find My Friends app on there where your friend has your location and they can ping your phone if they need to know where you're at, etc. Noonlight is pretty much like that. So you can share your location um, with specific contacts in your phone. They can request your location, but there's a bonus. Um, it's really to alert safety personnel in a case of an emergency or in case you feel uncomfortable at any point in time so when you look at the app you open the app there's like a little um, circle button kind of like an alert button or an emergency bus button SOS button whatever you want to call it but you can either tap that button or hold that button if you're in a circumstance where you feel uncomfortable or fear for your safety and someone will reach out to you you know is everything okay and they will send emergency personnel to wherever you are um, so it's super convenient if you are maybe out meeting new people and you know you end up meeting a serial killer instead of the school teacher that you thought you were meeting and you need a, a quick escape or you need someone to come save you Noonlight is perfect for that or if you're just walking down the street at night and you feel like it's kind of sketchy just press the button and someone will be there and reach out to you now I personally haven't had to use the like emergency button yet but I just downloaded the app and shared my location um, you know just in case you never know I like to utilize all the precaution that I can now the only downside to Noonlight is I think that people I don't know when I when I sent the request to my friends to have my location I think it prompted them to download the app and so that's the only inconvenience you know some people may not have a lot of storage on their phone or some people may just not want extra apps on their phone that they're not using um, so the fact that it prompted them to download the app in order to have my location was a little bit iffy um, I'm not sure if that's the case for everyone but with the people with the contacts that I shared it with it did prompt them to download the app so that is I would say the only downside to the app that I've experienced thus far. Next on our list are two ride sharing apps, Uber and Lyft. We all know about them. Um, they come in really handy in New York, especially me as a model. I do take public transit to get to my castings and to get to my bookings. But um, for example, there was this one time where I was on the way to a booking and the train literally just stopped in the middle of its route and it was sitting for like 15 minutes I think because someone like jumped in front of the train so once the train got to the next stop I hopped off got in an uber and drove the rest of the way so it's super convenient in that instance if you just don't want to deal with the hassle of public transit don't want to deal with the inconsistency of public transit uber and lyft will come in really help really handy and there are so many uber and lyft drivers in the city that you your wait time is like slim to none like Literally, I feel like the most I've ever waited for Uber and Lyft was maybe 10 minutes, if that. Um, and if I was waiting that long, it was probably at a really inconvenient time, like maybe like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. But yeah, they come in really help handy, and um, if you use them frequently, they offer a lot of discounts, like 30% off a ride, 20% off a ride, $5 off a ride, things like that if you use it often now I will say that both uber and Lyft are super expensive in the city especially if you're going from maybe like Brooklyn to Manhattan the cost can add up so just take into consideration the cost I know if I need to use a ride sharing app I will just type in my location and test out the price for both Lyft and uber and then just book the one that has the cheapest price and I know since corona started 
Well, when Corona first started, sharing a ride wasn't an option, so it was automatically more expensive than if you were sharing a ride. Now, I haven't, I don't know, I haven't used Uber and Lyft in the past couple of months, so I'm not sure if they've allowed ride sharing back. Comment below if you know for a fact that you can now share rides with strangers. I'm, I don't think that you can. The last time I used it was last month and I couldn't do it at that time. But comment down below if you know. And also with Uber and Lyft during this time, during this corona time, um, they've limited the times that Ubers can be out, which is super unfortunate because sometimes I have flights that are at the most inconvenient times and the subways are also now closed between like 1 and 6 a.m. so if I can't take the subway and Ubers aren't out I'm just no I don't know where I got that word from Ew, that's not even in my like vocabulary I had a, when I was in North Carolina I had a Lyft driver tell me that they couldn't drive between like the hours of like maybe like Pretty, I think the same time that the subway shut down, maybe between like 2 and 5, because I was trying to book a lift for 5 a.m., but it wouldn't let me book until 6 a.m. So I think, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but there is a period of time um, where lifts and Ubers can't be out. I guess they're trying to limit the amount of social interaction out there. I don't know. But then again, New York is now in a phase four, so those circumstances may have changed. All right, third on our list is the Citizen app. The Citizen app for me is bittersweet because downloading since downloading the app, I recognized how dangerous the city that I live in is um, and how many crimes actually occur. Before, I was just living in my own little happy-go-lucky world, out of care in the world, um, just doing my day-to-day -day motions. But then after downloading the Citizen app, it's like every five seconds I get a notification oh, this woman was robbed at gunpoint, oh, a report of a man with a knife on this corner, oh, a man has been shot here, police are on the scene, oh, this building is on fire, literally every single day. And that can mess with your mental health and it can mess with your anxiety or whatever. So I would say the Citizen app is beneficial, but sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. So let me tell you guys what exactly the Citizen app is. Basically, based on your location, um citizens in the area can send out alerts to the app if they see something going on so if they hear gunshots they can put in the citizen app gunshots heard at such and such boulevard and delancey street something like that or if they see um you know a car wreck happen they can take a picture or take a video and put it in the citizen app and say car wreck on blah, blah 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 police are on the scene um so basically there are alerts by people in your community they're seeing these things happen and they are sharing it in the app and you can react to it you can comment on it you can view the pictures watch the videos all that all that jazz um so it's really beneficial and helpful to know like if i get an alert that oh a man was spotted with a knife on this street i'll know to avoid that street or to maybe catch an uber or lyft as opposed to walking so the alerts can come in handy but again err on the side of caution that it can be a little overwhelming at times when it's happening all the time and you're getting the notification all the time um, all right number four on my list um i made a video about this back in maybe like march but the app is called Instacart. Now, if you live in New York, you already know that sometimes grocery shopping can be a hassle, and then you add Corona on top of that, it makes it all the worse. And so me, I don't know, I guess you could call me lazy. I really just don't have the time to deal with it, and um, I don't drive out here, so I don't have a car to like transport all my groceries. But I do have that little shopping cart thing, the little granny cart that all New Yorkers have, but Sometimes I don't feel like pushing that around. So I use Instacart to order my groceries um, and have it delivered straight to my door. It's super convenient, but because I did a video on it already, I won't go too in depth about the details of the app. Just check out that video. But I highly recommend Instacart. It's basically a grocery delivery service. A grocery delivery service. You can um, shop at any of the grocery stores in your area that have partnered with Instacart 
and yeah have the groceries delivered right to your door instead of waiting in long new york lines and pushing around your granny car in the burning heat or zero degree weather all right so fifth on our list the compilation of four apps i've always been like a major reader like i just love reading um but when i was living in north carolina our public library system was super great most of the books that i wanted they had in the library like tangible books that i can read and feel the pages and all of that um but since moving to new york Brook brooklyn public library system is not the greatest now they have a lot of books to offer but not like on the shelves and so i've been having to read my books like via my ipad which i don't really like because it hurts my eyes and i just prefer to feel the pages i don't know i feel like i read faster but anyways i've had to make do so these apps if you are an avid reader like me and you are with within the brooklyn prop within the brooklyn within the brooklyn public library system these apps will be super ben beneficial to you because you can just download the books as opposed to going to the library and check them out there's the libby app there's the brooklyn Pro public library app there's cloud library and there's simply e so all four of these if you have a um book brooklyn public library like card id whatever account you can go to any of these four apps and search your book and download it right then and there now after recording this video i found out that cloud library is actually no longer servicing brooklyn public library system now there it there sometimes the books have wait lists like if some people have already checked them out just like books at the library they have wait lists people check them out um so it is like that but it's just super convenient you can even use the apps to check if they have the book in the library if they have the tangible book in the library before you walk all the way down the block to the library and check yourself because they're most likely not going to have it um but yeah you can do all of that in these apps and the they have a plethora of genres a plethora of books and so pretty much i would say about 75 to 80 percent of the books that i've wanted to read have been in the apps there have been some instances where i couldn't find the books that i wanted to read so i had to end up purchasing purchasing them on like amazon or thrift books but for the most part they do have all the books on there i would just say that um in the physical libraries having the physical books they don't really have those so that's why i recommend these apps if you are an avid reader and if you don't like paying um, for your books. All right, so next on my list, I believe it's number six. Uh, this is called Class Pass. If you have a membership with Class Pass, you basically pay like a monthly fee or an annual fee to secure these kind of like points or credits, and you can use those credits at different member at different um, like fitness centers around the city. You know, Pilates classes, boxing classes, aerobics, just general fitness centers. There are just so many places here in NYC and so class pass allows you to pay like for example you'll pay like $15 for the month to get like 30 points and you can spread these points out to whichever fitness center you want to use. It's pretty beneficial and you do get your bang for your buck and I think if you invite people to join class pass you get points yourself as well so there are so many options for you to be able to get points on class pass. Basically you are able to try out all the different places that your city has to offer without feeling like you're tied down to one specific gym. So a lot of people get like a gym membership at Blink Fitness or like O2 Fitness or something like that and then they'll have to pay extra if they want to try out another gym. So with Class Pass, you can try out all these different places uh, for one set price. So it's super beneficial. Personally, I haven't used Class Pass since being in New York, but a lot of my acquaintances have and they like swear by it. I, on the other hand, don't use Class Pass because I have other options that are free to me and I will get into those in a second. But when I was in North Carolina, I used Class Pass for a bit and it was super beneficial then, so I assume it would be the same here in New York. So yeah, try it out and see. If you don't like it, you can always cancel your subscription. Right, so number seven on our list and the last one on our list are two apps for my models out there, my creators, um, specifically my signed models. The, these are the Into app and Neon Coat. I swear by these two apps, you guys. 
if you're not a model you can disregard this portion of the video unless you want to be on the inside if you want some insider news or if you plan on being signed eventually this information is for you so both of these apps are pretty much like class pass so models pretty much get access to all of these fitness centers spa locations restaurants bars etc we get access to that in exchange for posting about the business on our Instagram. It's super beneficial before Corona and everything. I was literally using up my Into app credits and my Neon Coat credits all the time. I was trying out different fitness centers. I had recently gotten to rowing and I was going to do boxing next. And so they have so many different varieties of places that you can go. Um, now that New York is in a phase four, the outdoor dining options on Neonco and Into app have been increasing and so I've been using those. Now some of the restaurants have a wait list on the app so like let's say if they have five slots for models to come eat at their restaurant that day and five models have already um, requested to show up today for instance and I'm the sixth model and I want to I wanna go to the restaurant that day if I request to go that day I'll just put on a wait list and if a model drops out or they say they're not coming then I will be bumped up and I'll be able to do it. I very rarely am I on a wait list. I think I've been on wait list like one time and I ended up just like canceling altogether but it is super super beneficial. If you are a signed model watching this and you are not on Neon Co or Into app, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? And I know some models have had trouble um, being approved I can't say much to that. I would say maybe just DM them on Instagram or reach out to their email to see why you haven't been approved. I know Neon Coat has a list of agencies that are acceptable and reputable that they will um, approve model signs to those agencies. But yeah, if you have if you're having trouble being accepted, um, yeah, I would say maybe just reach out or give it some time. You know, they probably have an influx of applications that they have to go through and approve so just give it some time and if you've given it time and you're still not approved um just reach out you know it doesn't hurt to ask but an app that i forgot to mention that i've been using so much here in new york is called meetup basically it is an app that allows people to meet up with other people uh with that have similar interests similar hobbies um so for example i started roller skating and so i looked up roller skating groups in new york and i found so many roller skating meetup groups and if you guys watched the video prior to this one you saw that i actually went out and met these people and it was a good time so anything that you're interested in just search it up on meetup and you'll be able to find groups that have been created for people who have similar interests and if there's something that you're interested in that you know maybe is a little bit more unique and there's not a group for it yet you can create your own group and host an event and people who are also interested in that can um, request to join your group and um I guess RSVP for the event that you're hosting so yeah meetup is a super super useful app and I can't even believe that I forgot to include it in the video but it's probably one of my most used apps here in New York those are pretty much all the apps that I've been using thus far here in New York now again I've only been here since December as like an actual resident so obviously I still have a lot to learn but I just wanted to share with you guys as I go along the apps that have been really useful to me up here and have saved me a couple of coins um, and have just kept me safe living out here on my own um, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys if you guys are watching this and you live in New York and you have any other apps that you think that would be useful for me or any of my other viewers please comment down below or shoot me a message on Instagram my Instagram is Thomasina Marisa you can also find it in the description below as always, thank you guys for tuning in. I will catch you in the next video. Bye!